Happy Friday night, everyone. Time to kick off the weekend with the NBA on 2K Sports with Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry. This is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Ali LaForce from the sideline. A look at Orlando's opening lineup. Ben Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. Fulton Suggs in the backcourt. And it's Wagner in at the three, the small forward. And for the Nuggets, manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. And it's Porter in at the three spot. Grant, during your 18-year career, you only went to a new team three times. Not a lot of movement there for you, my friend. What was switching teams like? Well, B.A., at this point of the season, it's just it's too early. I mean, you're still trying to get comfortable, trying to learn a new system, your new environment, and really just find your place within the organization. So the Nuggets with the tip. Murray against Fultz. With the teardrop. And he takes it up and lays it in. Well, there's a little bit of Murray's handle on display. The D looked totally confused as to what to do there. Here's Fultz. Yep, that one goes. Setting an aggressive tone early, challenging the heart of that defense. And so Murray will bring it up for Denver. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. Yeah, I think they'd like to forget that game. You usually want to find some teaching moments, but in this case, it might be best to just destroy the tape. Yeah, and quick, right? like as quick as possible. That was a dismal showing, especially for them at the offensive end. Here's Suggs. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Yeah, nice initiative from Suggs. Seeing an easy scoring opportunity and pouncing on it. And Grant, the Nuggets are in uncharted territory this year. They are the defending champs. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they'll have a target on their back all season. They retain most of their talent and core, and with Jokic leading the way, they remain favorites to repeat. That one's good for two. Jokic putting his size to work hard to stop down low. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. And Carroll finds Wagner. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the Magic this year. And they dominated this team last season. Big difference in talent level. Now here's Porter. Back to Caldwell Pope. Murray from outside. Offensive board. Jokic passes to Murray. He goes up again. And Jokic finishes inside. Jokic has got his second basket. Yeah, boxing out Jokic is easier said than done, especially when he's sniffing out rebounds. Pass to Carter. Three-pointer. Gordon pulls it in. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Caldwell Pope. The pass to Murray. Outside, Caldwell Pope. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. screen. Squads that love to run. Last year's team leaders in fast break points. Fifth on the list, the Nuggets. They would just push the ball at every opportunity, even when defenders had already gotten back. For Orlando, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. On the attack, Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. You love the show of force from Carter Jr. He's not messing around when he gets the ball down there. Jokic up top. Pass to Porter. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Great finish from Porter Jr. Finding a way to thread that shot in despite contact. Fultz passes to Ben Carroll. Here's Suggs. Three-pointer. The rebound by Murray. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Pass to Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. Now sometimes there's passes and then there's precision passes. Murray with one of those there. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Gordon against Van Carroll. Up and over Gordon. And Van Carroll gets it to go. 
I mean, 6'10", about 250, Bancaro imposing his will inside. Murray scanning the floor. Pass to Jokic. Over Carter. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Nuggets on top, up two. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. All right, guys, what do you think about the Nuggets here in this one? Yeah, showing grit on the glass is a good way to gain an advantage. They controlled the boards in the first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. And here's Anthony. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Trailing by two. Unlike a lot of drafts, Grant, there wasn't a clear first overall pick in 2022 for the Magic. Yeah, but I do think they nailed it, taking Paolo Bancaro, a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro was Rookie of the Year, and he's certainly a player you can build around. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Magic starting the second. They've got Jonathan Isaac. He's out there with Joe Ingles. Mo Wagner is out there with Anthony. And it's Black in at the shooting guard. Jackson... That shot off the mark. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Well, before his one season at Duke, Paolo Bencaro tattooed the message, no pressure, on his left forearm. He said, quote, there's going to be noise, but at the end of the day, you've got to go out there and hoop against five other guys. So it's like, quote, what really is it if it's just basketball? <laughs> That's a good point. No big deal. Thanks, Ali. Ingles passes to Isaac. Shoots over Jackson. Isaac shot is off. Denver in the lead. Jackson outside. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute to play. Over to the left wing. Down to five on the shot clock. The three ball. The rebound by Ingles. Here's Orlando. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Unable to get that one. Back to Jackson. Closed it in on two minutes played here in the second. Pass to Strother. Nice D from Wagner. The Magic have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Here's Black. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. So it's Denver now. In the second quarter, held scoreless. Pass to Najee. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure is real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first time and out, foremost from yourself. Offense has been hard to come by so far. A much-needed bucket right there. Yeah, the buckets have been few and far between, and neither team able to get into any sort of offensive rhythm. Now a timeout called by Denver.
And it's a completely new group here for the Nuggets. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Markel Fultz. A minute and a half left in the first half. Well, Brent, the past several years have been the brightest in Nuggets history. And it makes perfect sense. I mean, B.A., you go out and you find a, a player that elevates everybody else, a guy who becomes the two-time MVP. The talent on the roster has taken strides. They've done a great job in the draft process. It's great to see Denver becoming a legitimate powerhouse in the Western Conference. And what's unique about Michael Porter Jr., it's almost impossible to block his jumper. Yeah, at six foot ten, Grant, he's got that high release point. How are you going to close out and do anything to disrupt this guy in his shooting window? Nearly impossible. What an elite offensive shooter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Michael Porter Jr., just one of those guys that has a versatile scoring menu. Terrific at executing at all three levels. Porter hits them both. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now here's Fultz. For three, here's Harris. Here's Carter. Oh, Jokic with the block. Good awareness from Jokic. He sees the shot forming and gets over there for the denial. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Murray passes to Porter. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Pure from three-point range. Watson's got his first three points of the game. They keep capturing the lead and giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Now, here's Howard. Porter pulls it in. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Watson passes to Caldwell Pope. Pass to Porter. Six to shoot. Murray inside. Oh, nice D from Fultz. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Nuggets ahead. They lead by one. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. A pretty close game for the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. They led by two after the first. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half? Well, as well as they perform offensively, I'm surprised that they haven't opened up a significant lead. I mean, the passing shops, they're shooting well, they're making good decisions. If they haven't opened up the game, that could be difficult. Looking at Orlando, Shaq, your thoughts? Well, the story is their poor shooting. Under 40%, you've got to give the D some credit. But they look uninspired on offense. It would be nice to see fewer isolation plays, more ball movement, and creating for each other. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You look at Nikola Jokic. What a contribution. 
When he got good position and they got the ball to him, he was automatic. Yeah, we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively. But he's going to keep going at them. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. And the forward spots, Porter Jr. and Gordon. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Jokic in its to five, roaming the paint. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Now here's Bancaro. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. A full load to handle anywhere on the floor. Bancaro makes sure he gets his. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. There aren't many rookies that can carry an offense. Bancaro has the chops to do it, and he will keep coming right at you. And Bancaro drops them both. He gets to the line a lot. Van Carroll knows that and works on those shots at practice. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. The Magic are still young, yes, but they are developing. Coach Jamal Mosley said, quote, we're close to getting over the hump. These guys understand that you just have to stick with that process, the growth. It's just the belief system that these young men are starting to grow into. He's really kept that positive environment. Thanks, Allie. The Nuggets trail. And the one thing about Jamal Murray, Brent, you know he's not afraid of the big moments. Nah, and it felt really good just as a basketball fan, B.A., to see Jamal Murray return to those big moment kind of plays that we got used to while the teams were in the bubble. Certainly a rising star and a guy that gets dangerous the bigger the game gets. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. Murray passes to Porter. The Nuggets with another miss. Might be time for the coaching staff to bust out a play for him to get going. 0 for 4 to start the half. And it's Wagner missing. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. They can finally relax after missing their first four shots to start this half. Murray against Fultz. 13 feet out. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got six rebounds in the game. Things have been a little bumpy coming into the second half. Five straight misses. Fultz passes to Carter. Not going to go that time. Good D by Jokic. And it's Jokic with the ball for the Nuggets. Still looking for their first bucket of the second half. Here's Caldwell Pope. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, Brent, everyone has a three-point shot now, but Caldwell Pope is a true sharpshooter. Well, this guy can really get the job done from the three-point line, and coaches appreciate the stability that he brings to them on the defensive end. What a great plug-and-play two-guard in the NBA. Makes a first. Known as a 3 and D guy, the leadership Caldwell Pope provides is so important for this squad. For the Nuggets, Najee, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Brown comes in for Porter Jr. And it's Jackson in for Murray. He's perfect from the line this time. The Magic have gone only one for six here in the second half. Pass to Black. Wagner with it. Let's go with a three. The shot won't fall. Minute 32 left to play in the third quarter. 
Here's Jackson. The Nuggets with another miss. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Beautiful timing, execution, great move to the rack. To the inside, Caldwell Pope. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. And a really good job by Reggie Jackson just finding the shooter and feeding him. 55 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Ingles. Count it. Ingles got his first bucket of the night. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Jackson, the pass to Gordon. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's Brown. Just five to shoot. 20 feet out. And the shot's good. Certainly not the best look, but I admire the confidence to let it fly. Anthony up top. Defended by Jackson. Jackson against Anthony. With the floater. The shot no good. Three quarters of play and a close one here. It's the Magic. They're up by one. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle. And you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the court for Orlando, at the two and the three, it's Suggs and Wagner. Ben Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. And it's Fultz in at the one. And he drives in. Here's Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. <laughs> Win or lose, this is the fight you want to see from your players. A great example out here of just a, a no-quit team continuing to compete until the final buzzer. Now here's Fultz. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Porter's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Strother. Orlando grabs the miss. Wagner, the pass to Fultz. Up and over Porter. Fultz can't get it to go. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Now here's Holiday. Murray for three. That one doesn't drop. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Outside Carter. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Misses in close. Here's Porter. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Porter showing just great body control that time, taking the hit, but he keeps his eyes on the rim. That helps him score and finish. Here's Suggs. He's covered by Holiday. Suggs with the bucket. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. The Nuggets have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Murray passes to Holiday. That shot, no good. The Magic have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. 
Bancaro in the post. Quarters there. Ooh, Bancaro getting it done and tight. Oh, no holding back from Bancaro. He wants this team to be able to rely on him in these type of moments. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They trail by one. A minute 37 left to play in the fourth. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Paolo Bancaro. Defensively, they were not prepared for his inside game. They were not able to deny him the ball, and once he got it, he was so quick and able to get to work. Just a masterful performance in the paint tonight. Gordon, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Caldwell Pope comes in for Holiday. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. He told his team, once you grab the rebound, run with the ball. Don't give them a single second to catch their breath. We control the pace of this game, not them. Guys, expect the pace to pick up. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Orlando calls timeout. They're trailing by two. 127 left in the fourth quarter of this one. You're just joining us fourth quarter here we're just over two and a half minutes into it and Carroll against Gordon and Carroll no good and so it's Jokic who brings up the ball for Denver two-point game you know Caldwell Pope can handle tough situations he'll get into the mix and draw some fouls And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Nuggets. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. All game long, they've just done a great job of keeping the pressure on the defense and penetrating with the pass. They've gotten everything inside, and they've converted there. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So both free throws good. And it's a four-point ball game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. Suggs, the pass to Ben Carroll. That one no good. Good work defensively by Gordon. Jokic with it. He's picked up by Ben Carroll. And there's Porter on the assist by Jokic. And the Nuggets lead by six. 
MPJ coming through in a big spot, and he's calling game. Can they get it? Here's Ben Carroll. Goes back up. Carter out to Anthony. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. A chance here to possibly put the game away. They have to remain focused to get it done. And now they decide to foul intentionally. on the first and that makes it a seven point lead and Jamal Murray more and more has come into his own as a player capable of shouldering the offensive load and being a leader for his team at times second one is good getting both at the line and it's an eight point ball game now Ben Carroll over Gordon he got a piece of it with a swat by Aaron Gordon Outside, Caldwell Pope. Ooh, too long in the paint. And he's hit with a three-second violation. Free throw drops from Murray. That should put this game on ice, not leaving any points behind. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So it's Denver picking up the win. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home, and I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. To see you again at the next event. Nicola, congratulations on the win. What does a win like this say about your team? I mean, we are looking for each other. We are finding it. It's... it's uh... When we start playing like we're supposed to play, we are really good. So hopefully we're going to continue to play like this. Thanks, Nicola. Back to you guys. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.